everybody, it's Kitten again, recording another video. Today we are going to be doing hardcore, of course. Uh, right now there are no other worlds really that I want to make videos on, and I have yet to find an SMP or a realm or anything like that to join. Really, it's just when it comes to that kind of thing. Even if I saw one that I was interested in, I'd probably be too afraid to ask if I didn't know the people involved or know them very well. And right now, none of my friends that I have played with in the past are, have been playing or have any realms or servers up. So, a little sad about that. Um, but if I ever do get to join one, then I may make some videos on that. Anyways, uh, I figured I would start off in the settings menu because uh, I realized that some of you may not know, I do use a few resources. So what I use are technically mods, they're called add-ons for Bedrock Edition because we have to be unique apparently. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and really quickly show them off. I get all of these, the ones that I have, uh, like I have a lot total, but um, most of the, these are the ones that I keep on globally, so whenever I go into any other server or any of my worlds, these are all active. None of them are super intensive, they don't interfere with the gameplay, they don't uh, do anything crazy. Um, I get them all from, I think it's called add-ons for NCPE, and it's on the Google Play Store, you should just look it up. Uh, has like a zombie pig piglin face, I think is the logo, uh, and lots of people make, uh, mods and maps, so, uh, so first I have the mini shield, uh, I added this one recently, uh, just kind of shortens it, because it takes up so much of the phone screen, I think this will be better for the viewing quality as well, uh, the redesigned d-pads pack, uh, it doesn't show the person who made that one, uh, but basically this just makes it a little more transparent and a little nicer, uh, purely for viewing, it makes it easier on for streaming and YouTube. Uh, the Realistic Sky uh, makes clouds and the circular sun and moon by Ashes01234. Uh, we have the Better Guests one. Uh, it makes the guests ooh guests. Elytra Models by Dreading. And right now I have it set to Angel Wings, but of course you won't see that on this series, most likely. Or not for some time. Assuming I make it long enough to get my Elytra. Uh, better leather armor, which makes it so when it's died, you don't get the the weird stuff. So, I'm going to get on, right on into the world, because I've got a bit to show you. I've done quite a lot of work since you last saw me. Um, and I'm alive! Woo! I made it to episode 2. Hooray! Hopefully, the first of many, the second of many, many more episodes on the series. I've already uh, been thinking up some big builds that I'd like to do if I get really far and get an elytra and uh, everything. So I've got some good stuff. I got this and um, I don't like knockback 2 on the swords. I've never really liked it. I know it, it, it's good, keeps the mobs away, but when I'm making a fully enchanted set, I just don't like to have knockback on it. I find it more annoying than just being able to hit the enemies normally. So, but since I I rolled, it showed sharpness for, and it gave me knockback. And I actually had two swords that I got knockback on that I didn't want. So I'm just using those for the time being. Since why wouldn't I? I got this fortune three showed up in the enchantment table, and I got all three lucky. Uh, this I got purely from fishing and. I'm waiting on a perfect rod. So I have made a lot of dogs. Um, that's for safety reasons and everything. I have my enchantment table. And there's some other thing. I have my mine and I got, I have gotten a lot of diamonds. I first just got enough so that I could make a pickaxe and an enchantment table. And once I got fortune three, I went mining again and I've gotten a lot since. And I've used most of them. I got a little snowman here so I can get snow. See, this is uh, the, actually the solution to my snow problem. Uh, I just place snow blocks over here, and now when it snows, I only get this added top layer. Um, but it doesn't go up and up and up, uh, which annoyed me. 
So I did this for um, basically this area. So as you can see, these buildings are new, and I will show all them off in just a second. But first, I'm going to show off the things that I've gotten here. So as you can see, this is how many diamonds I have right now. Gold, lapis, all that stuff. This is the other sword. Uh, that one's good too, but not back. Uh, those three diamond weapons I'm working on enchanting. I've got enough bows and fishing rods to make fully enchanted ones, but it's just a lot of levels to combine them all up in an anvil, so I'm going to hold off on that. Um, Alright, let me move my... So I have this prop 4, Aqua Affinity, and I have a Respiration 3 book in there, and uh, also I have a spare... Prote I have a spare protection book, which I'm going to use for that. Eventually, I'll get villagers and Unbroken 3 and Mending for the ones I don't have. I got this, so all I need on that is Mending. I'm not getting Thorns. Thorns is also annoying for different reasons. And I got those. Uh, it's a little annoying because I got Prot 3. Prot 4 would have been better. But it's okay because uh, Prot 3 is next on the enchantment and I'm going to get that. And then it'll be a little more expensive, but... I'll have it all fully combined. I've gotten a few good books. I've gotten those purely from the enchanting table slash fishing. Uh, those are all my good ones that I have so far. And uh, those two, Frostwalker, but those are not that great. Alright, now, um, is there anything else I need to show off here? I've gotten a lot of dirt. A lot of resources, a lot of fish. <laughs> this is how much fish I have. I've been fishing a lot. And um, I realized that I need blaze rods to use the, the, um, the, the potion, the thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm blinking. It's late at night. Stop opening the door. Um, but I went hunting for igloos and luckily enough, the other two I found had those, so... So long as I can get some zombie villagers grouped up, I will be able to make several. So what these big buildings are for are my farms. I have made a lot of really big farms. So this is the first one that I made, and this was for fishing because um, I found out the, gl the glass prevents snow from falling and also makes the water not freeze. And uh, I think fishing is better if you have like a, a big area, but also I just want it to be nice, a nice safe place to fish. Um, and then I added the kelp later. Um, this building, alright, the next one I made over, was over here. Uh, I did glass just over the areas where the paths are so the snow wouldn't fall. So this is all wheat, and I've been collecting. <laughs> Got a lot of that so far. This is my melon slash other farms, and this one's also been going really well. I got carrots, potatoes, and beetroots, and I've also got a bunch here. A bunch of pumpkins, melons are coming along. Uh, I found a jungle. It's kind of over, well, that way-ish. Um, there's a jungle and a roof forest and also a birch forest, and so I got saplings and other goodies. Um, I haven't explored a ton, but I've explored that way and a little bit that way. I still have yet to go that way and, um, a few other places. But this is that. And I, yeah, I already shut off that one. So I have, a uh, everything. It's all safe, all lit up completely. And then this one is the most recent one that I built, and it's for sugar cane and bamboo and cactus. So yeah, I've arranged it all very neatly. Lots of nice paths. Uh, makes it easy for collecting. Gotten a lot of sugar cane and bamboo, but I've been trying to use it to smelt just because, uh, say, I'm on coal. Because it's annoying to mine coal. Polar bears are okay. I feel a bit better about the polar bears now. I'm a little bit beefier. So, my next plan, the next builds that I'm going to do, I'm going to expand this way and I'm going to make some tree farms. Um, basically just going to clear out areas to uh, get other trees so that I can start getting different types of wood. I already have a bit, but I haven't been planting them like I need to. 
be. And then another project that I'm going to work on is, actually I'll, I'll go back out real quick. Uh, this forest over here is a taiga, so all this area where it's just snowy plains or snowy top of the mountain, uh, strays will spawn in. Even if you put other blocks around, space, only strays will spawn on those blocks. So that's really annoying. But in the taiga, other mobs will spawn. Not strays at all. So I'm going to probably burn down the trees because... I don't have the time. I don't want to break them all down individually. So I'm going to probably burn all the trees, uh, use water to clear the snow, and I will be looking for large groups of zombie villagers. And then I'll cure them and start with uh, some farming villagers to trade wheat so that I can start building up emeralds and then. Eventually I'll get some librarians as well. Uh, I've been fishing purely for XP so far. Um, but I, I have found a dungeon. It's in the plains down here. It's a skeleton dungeon. Uh, I just don't have the materials to develop the way I want. And skeleton dungeons are kind of annoying. But it's, it's in a cave somewhere down there. Uh, I find that it's easier to get iron and coal by just looking for some caves that are open to the surface and they're usually not so convoluted and you can go get materials a little easier that way. And uh, while I was exploring some down there, uh, I found the dungeon. It was really helpful. I bring the dogs around with me sometimes when I'm exploring uh, just for an added safety measure. The actual house hasn't changed much, but what I do want to do is, once I start uh, getting the tree farms going, I'm going to uh, add some dark spruce, and maybe other types of woods, we'll see, in places, just to, so it's not just all one tone, you know? But things are really coming along on this world, I'm really hopeful for it, I am working my way towards a perfect perfectly enchanted, fully enchanted set of armor and fully enchanted set of tools, and that will make things go a lot better, especially on the armor front. Uh, I haven't used it yet because I want to wait till I get a uh, mending and I'm breaking three and, well, basically just everything I need on them. Um, and then after that, I will, I might wait to go to the nether until I get some better stuff, just because, well, I don't want a repeat of what happened last time. I mean, I will wear gold armor this time, I promise, but still, I'd like to err on the side of caution if I can. Uh, but I might go to the nether sometime this week, it just depends. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to keep levels, going to try to keep working on enchants, and I'll check back in with you probably around next week. I'm going to be very, very careful so that I do not die, and so that... We can make some progress in this world. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Uh, likes, comments, any of those kinds of things are very much appreciated. Uh, I'm really excited. I want to show off to you what I can do because I'm starting to. I'm starting to learn. I know these builds aren't very great, not very exciting, but uh, this is not going to be my forever base. Eventually, I'm going to build a really big, nice one. And I've got some ideas in my head, and I hope I'll be able to put them in action. I hope I'll make it that far. I hope you'll stick around with me that far, because I, I really want to show you what I can do. I want to show you why you should watch my videos, in addition to watching all the videos the other YouTubers you probably watch. Thank you so much, as always. Kitten out!